the revolutionary war hero who wasn't afraid of being openly gay. Gay men have always been a part of the military. Most of their stories have gone untold, but there is one that's particularly interesting. It's the story of Friedrich von Steuben. He was friends with the Founding Fathers. He transformed the Continental Army. He also arranged risque charged parties at his quarters. Von Steuben never married and had no children. He did have two adoptive sons. In reality, however, they were his partners. Friedrich Wilhelm von Steuben was born in 1730. At 16 or 17, he joined the Prussian military. He fought in several battles in the Seven Years' War. Von Steuben rose to the rank of captain. He also became Frederick the Great's aide. In 1763, he was suddenly dismissed. An implacable enemy was responsible for his firing. For a while, von Steuben struggled to find a job. Benjamin Franklin suggested that he join the American army. Von Steuben declined at first. He pursued a position at the Baden court, but his application was sabotaged. He was accused of taking familiarities with young boys. There is no evidence that he was a pedophile, but it's widely accepted that he was gay. Homosexuality was a criminal offense at the time. Von Steuben didn't fight the accusations. He accepted Franklin's offer and fled to America Franklin probably knew of the rumors, but he cared about skills, not sexual preferences. George Washington gladly welcomed von Steuben to his camp. The Revolutionary War was in full swing. The Continental Army was demoralized. In 1778, von Steuben arrived at Valley Forge. He was appalled at the conditions. No books were kept on supplies, clothing, or men. Von Steuben enforced the keeping of exact records. He got the army into shape using Prussian methods. Indeed, he was a tough drill master, but he also liked to have fun with the troops. One time, Von Steuben invited a group of officers over, but he had one rule, no intact breaches allowed. Some officers attended in tattered clothing. Others wore no clothing at all. Von Steuben bonded closely with William North and Benjamin Walker. They were both aides de camp. Von Steuben lived with them for two years at Valley Forge. He had a romantic relationship with North. His relationship with Walker was unclear. Von Steuben's addition to the army was crucial. He was one of Washington's most trusted advisors. He eventually took on the role of Chief of Staff. His drill manual is still in use today. After the war, he received U.S. citizenship. He joined the American Philosophical Society. It included many prominent founding fathers. Von Steuben lived with North and Walker in New York. North spoke for them all when he wrote, We love him, and he deserves it for he loves us tenderly. Von Steuben legally adopted both men. It was common among same-sex couples at the time. Von Steuben died in 1794, aged 64. North and Walker inherited his estate. Von Steuben was a revolutionary both on and off the battlefield, but his military contribution has largely been forgotten.